Formosa is the newest giant in the Costa fleet. She's just been released from the shipyard and is about to take on board a group of VIP critics who will rate and review everything, from the decor and dining to performances and personnel. I'm very, very stressed. He's going to take all the tricks in the book to impress. This is Cruise Ship Diaries. The Costa Favolosa is docked in Venice and will soon welcome a group of journalists, reviewers and VIPs for a three-day inaugural cruise. It's a critical test. In the cruise business, the first reviews can make or break the future of a ship. Okay, one line over here. Go ahead, go ahead. Andiamo, guys. Andiamo. Hello. Andiamo, guys. VIP veteran Andrea Olivieri has been chosen to host this high-profile cruise. He's known as the Magic Man. I actually was the cruise director for Oprah Winfrey. After 12 years experience, uh, this is not uh, my job, it's my life. VIP guests are extremely hard to deal with. Uh, VIPs in general have a high expectation of care. It's like a, a tightrope artist walking on the rope. If you make a small mistake, it can become a, a complete disaster. <laughs> Round-the-clock entertainment, a gala dinner and general luxury are on the menu, closing with a grand christening event to officially launch the ship. All right, guys, here we go. Everybody wants to make the right impression. The band should play again. We are having some troubles with the band equipment by the pool, so... Normally, if something doesn't quite go according to plan, you just fix it. You fix the problem. But when VIPs are on board, if something doesn't quite go according to plan, you try to fix the problem without anybody ever even noticing it didn't go according to plan. You finish the choreography, you get out. Where do you, where do you put the flag? So we've got two things no, in between no, no, the no. Venetian no, flags and the international flags. A Venetian-themed party on the pool deck will begin once guests are on board. OK, so where do we pick up the kabuki? The dancers have come up with a Venetian number to add to the mix. The first cruises are always really, really hectic because there's a lot of added pressure. That's crazy. This is the most important thing. He has to slightly touch the floor. Okay? The cabin stewards have been under pressure to get each suite gleaming. Okay, you have Demanding guests with high expectations. It's not only that the ship is new. Come, Estela. And there is a piece of silicon, or the material of the technician, that stayed. These are the things that you have to take care of. But next time I want to find it already clean. Yes. Hmm? The chefs in the galley have just hours till showtime. The big gala dinner is tonight. This particular gala night is extra special because we're going to have Michelin star chefs on board. And uh, that makes it extra special because it's the first time that, that we've done that. But tonight there will be chefs, restaurant owners, and I can tell you that I'm very, very stressed about it. Go. Stefano Fontanesi has been brought on board specifically to cater for the high-profile guests. He's had to up his game. Let's from Sicily. 
That's absolutely outstanding. I can eat it like this right now, with no cooking. Dishes like Sicilian prawns and stuffed beef fillet with veal tail sauce are on the menu. Parmesan cheese, eggs, a little bit, just a little bit of uh, nutmeg, muscat. Everything will be fine. I'm very stressed. <laughs> There is another word to describe my... but it's not good for TV. <laughs> Film crews, reviewers, news teams and VIPs are arriving. Buongiorno, buongiorno. Buongiorno, buongiorno. The entertainment team is on standby. Showtime begins the minute the VIPs board. When you prepare entertainment for VIP, it has to be well focused on the pace. And if you put some pretty girls, you win even if they don't know how to dance. The most uh, powerful tool is beauty. Put beauty and you will win anyway. Other tools of the trade include complimentary food and drink. Everything on this cruise is on Costa. VIPs settle in, many staff in housekeeping have some downtime. Pamela and Mark Velasco are cabin stewards. They met working on ships and have a daughter who lives at home with Pamela's parents in the Philippines. Hello. Hello. Ate? Yes. Sipam. Their daughter is sick and they use the downtime to try to make contact. Yeah, they say that the baby is already sleeping but uh, the past few days our baby is uh, kind of sick. She's having coughs and uh, colds. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I really miss her so bad. <laughs> and the smell and the, you know, the hug, hug and kisses about. Her giggles. Yes. I don't know. It's very hard for us. Everything that we're doing is for her. All is for her. <laughs> yes, for her every, future, yeah. For her everything. While Pamela and Mark start their afternoon shift, the entertainment for VIPs on the pool deck continues. <laughs> 